Hi Aries, here's your horoscope for June 2024. I'm astrologer Joe. Let's dive right in. All right, this month is all about communication. Lots of ideas, lots of ex self-expression, uh, all kinds of creativity. This is because now we have the Sun, Venus, and Jupiter, which just entered Gemini on um, May the 25th, and will stay in this third house for a whole year, all the way through May of 2025. So what this is going to do is going to give you uh, an, an incredible need for conversing, um, putting down your thoughts on paper, doing videos, uh, writing, uh, taking short trips, anything to do with travel uh, and self-expression. So your mind is kind of going to be on over, overload this month and will continue to be on and off throughout the entire year. So, But as we begin the month, Mars is still in Aries, so many of you are either driven to accomplish or you're feeling restless or you know your motivation is quite high. So channel that energy in a wise way because this is a lot of physical energy that is uh, coming in in this month. Okay, and then we add the element of air over here. Uh, this really is going to have um, your mind percolating quite a bit uh, with new ideas. We also have the new moon this month that's in the third house. So once again, this has a lot to do with communication. Uh, there's a wonderful alignment at the beginning of the month between Jupiter and Pluto, which is going to send you very powerful messages, insights. Uh, could involve a group or an organization. So you got a very um, colorful, uplifting month if you choose to participate. So keep an eye on that. Um, this is this reading is for anyone who has a, a sun in Aries or a rising in Aries. It's, this is a general uh, Western astrology sun sign reading, obviously because I don't have everybody's birthday and everyone's birth chart is completely different. So this has to be a very general overview. And yes, I use tropical. As you can see here, tropical astrology. And um, it's, to me, you know, it gives me a better view of what's going on. So let's dive in and see what's going, uh, what's happening this month, okay? On June the 2nd, we have Jupiter in Gemini trining Pluto in Aquarius. So this means it's a favorable alignment between Jupiter and Pluto. And so you can see here, one, one is at one degree, the other one is at one degree, and they're both air signs. So this could be some sudden revelations, awarenesses, deep insight, something very profound may be coming to you. Uh, this is very much a visionary placement. It has a lot to do with friends, acquaintances, realizations, uh, the future, hopes and wishes, and anything electronics. Uh, you know, oriented. So here we see the possibility of maybe something to do with electronics, something to do with a vehicle or a car, because Mars is still in Aries. Aries rules cars. So does Gemini. Gemini is also about movement. So there's a lot of energy here that I'm seeing, but this is a positive alignment between Jupiter and Pluto. So you could be having some very big, important conversations with higher ups or uh, something to do with a club or an organization or a friend in need. And so self-expression is very much favored around this time of the, um, the month, as soon as we begin the month. So this is going to be something that you really keep an eye out uh, for. If you get invited to talk or self, you know, express yourself in some way, you need to. Mercury also enters Gemini on the third. So as you can see here, that third house is packed with planets. We have four in particular. So this is all about self-expression. So the need to communicate is going to be very strong. And especially when Mercury is in Gemini. Mercury it rules Gemini. So this is going to be heightened even more between Mercury and Jupiter. As you can see here, they're coming closer and closer to a conjunction. This is, I won't be able to keep my mouth quiet. I have to talk. I have to express myself. I have to take that trip. I have to try something new. My mind is on overload. I have to express myself. And that's what this energy is going to do for most of the month of, of, of uh, June. Okay, so keep an eye on this because it's, it's going to be, it's energy that needs to be expressed. Okay, the new moon in Gemini on the 6th continues to pound away at this third house. And this is going to be at 16 degrees of Gemini. And so wherever this is in your actual birth chart, that's the area that gets lit up. Now this new moon is going to make a little bit of a difficult alignment to Saturn right here at 16, 16 degrees to 18 degrees of Pisces. So this could be a bit of a confusing time. This could be something that you have to work on by yourself. Even though you want help, you want people to help you with this project or this endeavor, you want to converse. And that energy is still going to be very strong, no doubt about it. 
But because of Saturn, Saturn is karma, Saturn is restrictions, Saturn is limitations, you may find yourself limited in some capacity or in some way, okay? But again, don't take it personally like it's only happening to you. It's just happening because there's many lessons to be learned here with Saturn involved. We have a lot of air here, a lot of communication. The mind is going to be on overload and Saturn is trying to help you pace yourself okay so again what I mean by don't take it personally is a lot of people are feeling this energy right now and they're all feeling like something's wrong or I'm not sure so the moment you start going to that place you're limiting yourself and you're causing your your own body energy to be lowered in some way Mars enters Taurus fortunately on ninth right there so our thinking reverts back to simple things simple pleasures food uh, it, it, money is also going to be highlighted here because Mars is in Taurus, which is the sign of money in your second house of income and values. So this is going to be very important for many of you to focus on making money or it could have something to do with your value system, what you believe in, what you don't want. I need to get back to the basics. Uh, you know, I need to slow down a little bit and, and, and work things out. And so Mars is going to help you with all of that as it makes its transit through the second house. And it's going to be very beneficial because all of this energy is very nervous and jittery. And Mars going through the second house may slow you down a little bit to say, hey, you know, life is life is not that bad. I, I'm going to do the best I can, you know. Uh, but Mars will also be squaring Pluto on the 11th. So here's Mars at, at 11 at one degree and here's Pluto at one degree. So this is a square. Now these two, when they get together and square like that, it's usually a little frustrating and irritating in some way. So this could have something to do with money matters. It could have something to do with somebody that you know, an acquaintance, an, a club, an organization, a charity, you know, your hopes and wishes for the future. They may not be happening fast enough for you. And so you're frustrated with that. But whatever it is, there could be some irritation in the mix here. So be very patient. I know Aries are not very patient, but this is suggesting some sort of patience or some sort of adjustment to a current situation involving money or another person. V uh, Venus enters Cancer on the 17th. Now we're adding a lot of emotion and feeling into the mix. At the same time, as you can see here, Mercury also enters um, Cancer at the same time on the same day. Uh, just a little while later so now we have this energy in the fourth house and the fourth house has to do with feelings home foundation the past the childhood and so you may be going back into a little nostalgia you may be trying to you know buy real estate you may be thinking about moving uh, remodeling anything to do with the home maybe you're dealing with family dynamics or family matters this could absolutely be indicate that as well so the energy is definitely shifting here okay so pay attention to your family uh, you know support your family or they come to you for your support so there's a lot of family dynamics going on here the second half of June we also have the Sun entering cancer this time of the year in the north northern hemisphere it marks the summer solstice so here we have an opportunity once again to shine a light in the foundation of your life so enjoy things like nature maybe you're doing something out in the yard maybe you're fixing something around the house maybe you're working in the uh you know in the house somehow maybe you're an artist and you're doing art and paint painting in your house you know stuff like that but again the dynamics of the home feeling and foundation are being highlighted with the sun going through the fourth house along with these other two planets so keep an eye on that now the full moon also about a day later around the same time is that uh, sun entering uh, cancer the full moon is all about the career purpose direction uh, this is all about karma so it's in the tenth house once again you are questioning your placement you are questioning your purpose you are questioning where you're going maybe you have a project that's finishing up maybe you have some new endeavors that you need to take care of this is all part of the equation here so keep an eye on this uh, full moon will bring something to light in your life or in your community or in your your sense of purpose that's going to be highlighted here that you really need to focus your attention on and to help you with doing all of that saturn will go retrograde in pisces right here june the 29th and it'll stay retrograde for a couple of months so it's going to sit here in stationary position before it goes backwards so what, what uh, Saturn's going to be doing here is basically reminding you of what's real, what's not real, what's important to you. 
And so you may be re revisiting the past as well towards the end of the month because we have all these planets in the fourth house and we have uh, Saturn in the 12th house. And eventually they're going to be making alignments to Saturn like right here, Venus and um, Mercury have already made alignments or Venus is about to make an alignment. So here we have something to do with water, something to do with family issues, something to do with emotions and feelings that need to be taken care of. Uh, it looks very favorable, but it's a constant reminder. And that's what the fourth house does and the 12th house, especially when Saturn is in retrograde. Okay, so there you have it. Stay tuned. I, I have a very important announcement I'd like to make for you. So uh, I appreciate it. Have a great month and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hi, thank you so much for watching my monthly astrology. I really appreciate your support over the years. Have you ever considered learning astrology? Well, you're in luck because I've created a full online astrology course in my private community. It's a full six module course that takes you from the beginning of astrology, what it all means, the mythologies, the houses, all the way to the more advanced techniques, such as progressions, solar returns, how to, how to read transits, how to make predictions. It's all there in this course here. And I even dive into some of the mysterious stuff, you know, what some of the symbolism is all about. So I think you might want to check it out if you're interested. Along with the course, we have a very tight knit community here where everyone helps each other out. And so if someone knows a lot about astrology, they help other people with astrology. So it's a community that really gets involved and, you know, really wants to learn and help each other out. But as you can see here, I have a whole lot more on this uh, private community. Uh, I also have the inner circle live calls each week. Now, this is something that I do twice a month on YouTube, but here I do them on a weekly basis. And I talk about various topics. You get to ask me questions, we interact, and we learn a whole lot more than just astrology. So this could be anything from astrology to what's going on in the world, predictions, politics, whatever it is, we talk about it in the inner circle calls. Of course, I do have videos here that I do not have on YouTube. So you get the, you get uh, those two. And then I've got a private resource vault, which has videos uh, that I suggest watching, books, suggested reading, meditations, and more. So if you're interested in learning astrology or want to be part of a great community that's really growing fast, head on over to the link down below and click on the link and join today. All right. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.